every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. And thank you for watching the all-new Alabama Weather Network. This is the Wednesday evening update. We'll kick things off with the Skycam view coming from Florence, overlooking the campus of the University of North Alabama. Earlier today, some really heavy rain falling here. That's moved on to the south. Things are quiet this evening, but some spots have received some really heavy amounts of rain across Alabama today. Pretty interesting little feature here. If you look very carefully, there's a twist in the clouds right here. Uh, this feature came up through Mobile and Baldwin counties this morning. It's moving steadily northeast. That produced some huge amounts of rain in eastern Baldwin County this morning. That feature should be east of the state and out of here by tomorrow, which means rain chances will come down and heat levels will gradually creep up. Here's the radar this evening, and you can see scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms over the northern two-thirds of the state, basically north of a line from Demopolis to Greenville to Dothan. And again, in this type of air mass, a pure, pure tropical air mass, these are very efficient rain producers. We had some flooding in spots. Again, this is the radar view at about 4.30 this afternoon. Heavy storms at that point over on the western side of the state lined up along US 43 from Russellville South. Heavy rain also on the eastern side of the state falling from Sylacauga back over toward uh, White Plains. Uh, down to the south, we have heavy rain falling now in parts of Russell County, not too far from Phoenix City. But the good news, the southern part of the state has gone dry after starting off this day with some really, really big rain totals for the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. You can see some spots going over six inches here. In fact, for a while this morning, we had a flash flood warning from Spanish Fort all the way down to Point Clear. But again, you saw the rain has ended there for this evening. Here's the big view. And again, once this little feature moves northeast of the state, the ridge begins to rebuild. And that means the weather will be trending drier. Temperatures this evening, are again, are way below average for the middle part of August. In fact, looking at this map, I only see one spot over 90, and that's Mobile. The airport there, they've got 91. Everybody else in the 70s and 80s. Birmingham, 77. Anniston, 77. Dothan at 85. Montgomery at 82. But really, this is what you feel, those very high dew points. Dew points up in the uh, mid to upper 70s. In fact, look at the Selma dew point. That might be a bit anomalous, but still, even if that dew point's around 80, that is about as high as it ever gets here. So you walk outside, it's that air you can wear, and we'll stay pretty humid for the next several days. However, showers thinning out as the ridge begins to rebuild. By the time the weekend gets here, the chance of any one spot getting wet, only about one in five. Heat levels will be rising. We'll see highs at or over 90 in coming days, where we should be for this time of the year. And we're watching Aaron, our one tropical system out in the Atlantic. Here's a look at modeling. Overnight tonight, showers will be fading away. And 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, things should be relatively quiet to start the day. And then tomorrow afternoon, sure, there's always the chance of scattered storms on any summer day in Alabama. This is 3 o'clock. The radar not looking exactly like that, but something like that. So again, scattered storms tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, most of them from noon until midnight. Showers fade away. Friday morning at 6 o'clock, we are rain-free. And Friday afternoon, really not that many showers around. They, again, they'll be thinning out, and a pretty decent chunk of the weekend ahead will likely be rain-free as well. And the tropics, this is Tropical Storm Aaron. A little stronger. Notice the uh, convection firing near the center, so it looks a little more symmetrical. The top winds have increased now to 50 miles an hour, moving to the west at 17. Still a pretty good uh, forward motion here. It's been in very dry air, so the system has not strengthened much, but now we're starting to see the ramp up, and by tomorrow night, this will likely be a hurricane. Latest track from the National Hurricane Center, no change in thinking. Aaron passes north of the Leeward Islands, north of Puerto Rico, with a strong turn to the north by early next week on Monday. And notice this will likely be a major hurricane, a Category 3, passing north of Hispaniola and east of the Bahamas. But again, with the upper air pattern, this will likely turn north, northeast, out to land. For now, we don't expect this to be an issue for the east coast of the, the United States, other than dangerous rip currents. Our forecast for the northern half of the state, 87 tomorrow. Then we go back in the 90s. 90 on Friday, 93 Saturday, low 90 Sunday, Monday. And again, for the weekend, the chance of any one spot getting a shower about one in five. Those of you in the southern half of the state, pretty much the same story. Heat levels a tad higher. And again, every day, some risk of a pop-up storm, but pretty standard summer stuff. Maybe some mid-90s in spots by the middle part of next week. That's the Alabama forecast update. Thank you for watching the Alabama Weather Network.